Good evening. We begin NASA television coverage of mission STS-76 here at the John F. Kennedy Space Center in Florida. We're just hours away from NASA's 76th space shuttle launch and the 16th flight of the orbiter Atlantis. There's a crew of six astronauts getting ready to launch aboard the shuttle Atlantis this morning. Liftoff is planned at 3.13 a.m. Eastern Time. That's the opening of a seven-minute launch window. The window extends until 3.20 a.m. Eastern Time. The weather conditions are very favorable for a liftoff. We've got a 90% chance of having acceptable conditions for a launch. The flight crew is continuing to get ready over in their crew quarters at the operations and checkout building while the launch team here at KSC in the firing room is preparing, preparing the vehicle and monitoring systems. And uh, we do have two crews out at the pad right now. One uh, is uh, in the white room and inside the vehicle crew module, uh, getting things set up and ready. The other is the final inspection team making an assessment of the, the vehicle and uh, looking at temperatures and uh, assessing the overall vehicle. We do have live pictures of the flight crew. Got mission specialist Linda Godwin. She'll be one of the spacewalkers on this flight. Pilot uh, Rich Richard Sirfoss. And Commander Kevin Chilton. Chilton will be uh, guiding the shuttle Atlantis to a smooth docking. Mission Specialist Shannon Lucid getting ready to uh, begin her stay on Mir. Mission Specialist Ron Saga. And Mission Specialist Rich Clifford, who's also serving as the flight engineer for the mission and uh, will be performing the spacewalk. crew uh, waving uh, for the camera. Flight crew ready to go. They've been up since uh, 4.30 p.m. They'll be getting into their launch and entry suits uh, about 11.20 p.m. We're currently got some uh, live coverage of the final inspection team walking around on the top of the, the mobile launcher platform, just uh, looking at the, uh, the aft end of the solid rocket boosters. Uh, one of the team members just passed. The team is composed of eight members representing the NASA and contractor team. They use a portable infrared scanner. Also, they take close-up photo documentation of the cryogenic surfaces and uh, doing a lot of data collection to correlate uh, the data. We're standing by to get live coverage of the STS-76 astronauts as they get into their launch and entry suits. And we do have coverage. Uh, we've got Commander Kevin Chilton making his third flight today. Just completed the weather briefing with the uh, flight directors in Houston and uh, the weather coordinators there going through the traditional uh, suit up, being assisted uh, with the bulky suit. Chilton will be the third uh, little dock with the Russian space station, the third to do that. Got pilot uh, Richard Sirfoss making his second flight. He's uh, known as the rendezvous expert and uh, will be responsible for the undocking of the Mir station in the subsequent fly around.
Captain Frost will be assisting uh, Chilton at the flight controls in the uh, crew cabin of Atlantis. Mission Specialist Ron Sega. He's the payload commander for this mission, making his second flight. He's very familiar with the United States-Russian cooperative space effort, having spent several months in Russia serving as NASA's operations director at the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City, just outside of Moscow. Across the room, the rest of the crew members are getting uh, assisted with uh, equipment they'll be taking aboard. Mission Specialist Shannon Lucid. She's got uh, flying for the five, the fifth time today. It's the first American woman to be launched aboard the uh, the Mir station. She'll be staying aboard the, the Mir for four and a half months. As soon as she arrives on the Mir station, she will become part of that team. She'll be staying on Mir for about 143 days until August, conducting long-duration space research. Mission Specialist Rich Clifford is also serving as the flight engineer and will be one of the crew members to make a spacewalk. The spacewalk will occur on flight day six. He's also uh, gonna be responsible for the uh, space vision system and will be helping uh, transfer all supplies and equipment over to the Mir station. Also, he'll be assisting the commander and pilot with ascent and reentry checklists and in monitoring vehicle systems as the flight engineer. Mission Specialist Linda Godwin, she's making her third flight today. She's uh, going to join Rich Clifford in the spacewalk on flight day six where they'll be a attaching four experiments to the Mir docking module. We've got the STS-76 crew members walking down the hall at the uh, operations and checkout building. Crew getting ready for their nine-day flight. Mission Specialist Shannon Lucid getting ready for the first flight day, uh, staying in space for about four and a half months. Employees uh, wishing the crew well on their trip. And here we have the crew coming out. Seventy-six crew is now aboard the astronaut van. Bob Cabana followed the crew into the van. He'll be getting out at the Launch Complex 39 area. He is going to be in the weather reconnaissance aircraft that will be staged from the shuttle landing facility.
GPS. Go ahead. Press five forty two. I'll give you that. This is shuttle launch control just past the T minus two hour and counting mark in our countdown for mission STS 76. As uh, we count down to a 3.13 a.m. launch this morning and uh, mission specialist Shannon Lucid sitting at the hatch waiting her turn to climb aboard the Atlantis. Director Entity. Go ahead. Launch team is ready to proceed. Copy that. I'll conduct the poll here in just a couple of seconds. This is Launch Director on 212 conducting a poll for a clear to launch. Payload Director. Payload to go, Jim. Copy. Engineering Director. Uh, Jim Engineering is go. Copy that. Safety Mission Assurance. Safety Mission Assurance is go, Jim. Copy, Joel. Main dweller. Launch structure. We have no concerns for launch. Copy that. Ops manager. Jim, the MMT has no constraints. You're clear to launch. Copy. And Atlantis, uh, you guys have a great mission, and we'll see you back here at Kennedy in a little better than a week. Thanks very much, Jim. Uh, the Spirit of 76 is ready to fly, and uh, God bless you and your great launch team that uh, give us this opportunity. And NTD launch director, you're clear to launch. I copy. And we've just heard Shuttle Launch Director Jim Harrington complete the poll, giving the final clear for the launch of the Space Shuttle Atlantis on mission STS-76. And that clock will start on my mark. Three, two, one. One mark. T minus nine minutes and counting. Zero power sequence has been initiated. Looking for an on time launch of Atlantis at 3.13 a.m.
counting down to the final nine minutes before the launch of Atlantis. Pilot Searfoss will flip switches in the crew module to directly connect the three fuel cells to the essential power buses in the next few minutes. Got a glimpse of Commander Kevin Chilton waving as the as the access arm was being retracted away. Crew now uh, ready to go as we count down the final seven minutes toward the launch of Atlantis. Profile test of the orbiter error surfaces has started. The flight control surfaces are being moved through a pre-programmed pattern to verify they are ready for launch. Next, the main engines will be gimbaled and positioned for launch. The liquid hydrogen tanks now being pressurized for flight. All systems are go for launch at this time, just a few minutes away from the 16th voyage of Atlantis with a crew of six. ATC, clear caution and warning memory, verify no unexpected errors. Watch and look. The gaseous oxygen vent hood is being retracted away from the top of the external tank. Uh, it's morning, I'm going to close, wait, don't expect it is. Copy that, man. Flight crew, OTC, close and lock your visors and initiate O2 flow. And it's just about time for the Spirit of 76 to wake up the space coast, so have a great flight. Well, I'm going to go for that one. Thanks for that. Well, I'm going to go for EC, I'll let you see you put your feet. Atlantis will be launched on a northerly trajectory. Incline 51.6 degrees to the equator. Nine. We have a go for engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Atlantis on the third shuttle mirror docking flight. Engines are throttling back now, helping to ease the buildup of aerodynamic loads on the vehicle as Atlantis continues to accelerate rapidly through the dense lower altitudes, traveling now over 650 miles per hour. Time 48 seconds. All systems are performing well. Atlantis is now easing through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. And the engines are throttling back up. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Go at throttle up. All engines are now running at full throttle. All systems are performing well. Altitude is now 62,000 feet. Atlantis is traveling over 1,000 miles per hour.
solid rocket booster chamber pressure is beginning to tail off, signaling the burnout of the twin uh, boosters. Mission Control sees a good separation. Atlantis is now flying free, powered by its own main engine. Second stage guidance is now in effect. Altitude now 178,000 feet, downrange distance 38 miles. Atlantis performance nominal. Atlantis two engine tail. 